buddy's house out here, and also my brother's house. But this is the kind of the country we'll be hunting. Not too tall of hills, rolling plains, buckbrush. A lot of deer in this country too, mule deer. Don't know the where they're gonna be able to hunt tonight or first thing in the morning. Actually, my buddy invited me to stay out here. So I don't have to drive down the road in the morning and scare the elk out of here. That's the plan. Hopefully a couple hours you'll see me again and I'll have an elk on the ground. Oh, good morning guys. This is the first day of my hunt. Not starting out too well. I had to cross the creek. I had to find a way to get around it so I wasted 15, 20 minutes. So it's... The 22nd of September. I think I just heard a no bugle. But it was a long ways away. This uh this ranch on me and I've I've been I've hunted here before. It's been I don't know five years since I've been out here. And I know fairly well. There's a lot of ground to cover. I uh, had problems with the GoPro this morning. The owners of this ranch, they, the elk have been staying out until about uh, 7 o'clock. It's about, I don't know, 6.20, 6.30 right now. i got to get across this creek again, looks like. Oh, gun it. Might be an easier crossing, though. They say when they head up to bed, they go up this, what they call their bull pasture. It's up that way. So I think I'll... I'm only about a mile from the truck right now. I don't have to cross it again, that's good. There's, we got 25 to 30 mile an hour winds this morning, so it's a gust up to 40. <clears throat> so wind is going to be a big factor today. Uh, as long as I can stay down the wind from them, I should be okay. He said they're still rutting, still bugling. So if I can get an idea where they are. I got my bugle, hopefully I can get a better location of where, where they are. <coughs> I got this windscreen on too, so I hope you can hear me well enough. <coughs> Pretty location though, isn't it? Boy, I think I smell them. Last weekend a guy shot a big old bull in here. He said it was one of the biggest ones he'd ever seen. So it's uh, this country here. I know a guy got one just under 400. I don't know for those who don't know what that is. It's it's a scoring of uh, of the antlers on the elk. But uh, there's some big elk in here. When I get on top of that ridge, you'll be able to see there's a big valley on the other side of that. I don't hear any bugling. I'm headed up that way, so I'll see you guys at the top. It's like a crossing right here. Let's see what they do. This.
don't know if they could hear that, but somewhere out in front of us, it's a ways away. But there was a bugle back. That's cool. All right. We're going to be headed to Timber pretty soon. The sun's up. Oh, here he is, right here. He's getting close, getting close. He's coming this way. I don't know why they're stopped by in one of these trees. I've got a little hill in front of me. Here he comes, here he comes. Ridge in front of me. Oh, there they are, right in front of me. Oh, you guys can see there's a bunch of cows right there. I hope they didn't see me.
gosh. You gotta be kidding me. What time is it? Oh, God, I'm shaking. 7 18 in the morning. I didn't get you, you might smell something. There was probably at least six or seven cows here. been a horn hunter. I'm more, I'm more of the meat hunter. And I just love getting out and doing this. That's what it's all about to me. But look at a beautiful ranch this is though. <coughs> oh, I thank my friends Jay and Ken for letting me let me hunt out here. Just, I thought it was gonna take three, four, five days to get onto one and find them just because what they were telling me earlier about about those guys coming here and push them out they've had uh, before me two bulls he said two bulls and a cow taken out of here <coughs> like i said one was a was a trophy whatever that was you know they didn't measure it or anything i'm gonna give them some more time here man all year long for this. I know all you elk hunters out there wait all year long for this too. I haven't seen them move yet. But nobody ever tells you elk hunting's easy. They're lying to you. I can tell you that. You now, especially for an older guy like me. But I try to stay in shape. The good part about this is the guys that are on this ranch. back that way the ranch house <coughs> I can walk back there I shot an elk right here before actually almost in the same spot um, but they'll get their four wheelers up right now to get them out but I think I'm gonna do the gutless method and just pick, take them out in pieces <coughs> it's pretty steep terrain here I don't know. there's a lot of rocks here you can see it's really dangerous on a four wheel especially when you got a couple hundred pounds of meat on there I know he wasn't. So I like hunting the rut. He wasn't 40 yards. You know, I've always wanted to, to archery hunt here. Always. It just never worked out. Um, honestly, I don't know if I've ever shot an elk here further than 100 yards. Because I've always come during the rut. It just makes it a heck of a lot easier. Let me get my stuff together and take a walk over there. Another thing about elk, they're they are really, really tough. You know, you can probably ask, well, why did I put three shots in? Um, one shot did the major damage. He was so close, so I don't know. You know sometimes it'll just pull coals right through him. Depends on where you hit him. But uh, the second shot, I think I missed him, hit a branch. And I hope we got that on video. Um, and the third shot, I, that's, what, that's what put him under. walk up slow too. We have to drop the camera if something happens. I, I think he's done now though. Look at the trail here. Oh 
no trees around to tie him off to either. Look how dark he is. Two, three, four, five. Looks like a six on one side. Yeah, we've actually shot elk right here before. Interesting. He's upside down. Go around the back side of him. Yeah, he's gone. I had a buddy of mine one time that shot a deer and he walked up to him like this. The deer got up and stabbed him right in the stomach. He said he'll never do that again. Phew. Sure stink. He's got some good mass to him, though. All right, let me unload this gun. You can tell he's been, he's been fighting. Oh, he's a nice bull. Looks like he bled out pretty good. Now for the hard part. Look at the mass though, he's got some good mass there. Put this gun down. That's his lungs right there. Thanks, buddy. You got a truck down there? You gotta drag it about 600 yards downhill. Couldn't have done it without these guys. So we did the gutless method. We got four quarters, the back straps, the hands, or the loins. Of course, the skull. <sighs> Thanks, you guys, for watching. I'll do an outro in a little bit after we get everything down the hill. See that I could make another walk up here. Right. Just grab one, Jay. I'll come back and get the other. Too hard to do two of them. Are you stubborn? Yes. That wind's still blowing 30, 40 miles an hour. So it's tough. Well, anyway, I had a great time out here. I wish I, wish I had somebody to. to share the excitement with when it happened. I hopefully the, the camera cut the elk coming in. And hopefully it got the shot. I don't I don't know. It happened so quickly which it usually does, but um, that's my wrap up for the 2022 elk hunt. Boy, one hour. I mean how can a guy how can a guy beat that? You know? I mean it's unbelievable. So uh, again Thank you so much for, for tuning in here. If you haven't subscribed, please please do. Um, we do a lot of hunting, a lot of fishing. Uh, hit that notification bell if you would, and give me a like, thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. I'll be antelope hunting in a week. So. See you then. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Adios.